I'm in the middle of production on the Spider-Man PlayStation 2 Trilogy Retrospective, and I just found out that my copy of Spider-Man 2 doesn't work. Thanks a lot to Jack's Cards one on eBay for listing this as tested and in good condition. Jerk off. Look at the negative feedback. Yeah, I wish I left some. Anyway, this messed up my whole workflow, but rather than sit on my hands while I wait for the replacement copy of Spider-Man 2 to show up, I came up with a whole new idea. I'm gonna head to a local shop, buy a game I've never heard of before, and check it out. Good idea, right? Well, this turned into a nightmare. Every video here on 616 Entertainment is made possible by my supporters over on Patreon. If you enjoy the show here today, consider signing up. You'll get early access, exclusive videos and podcasts and more. Pro Wrestling Tees has the merch. As always, thank you for watching. The local shop in question is Closet Collectibles, located in Tinley Park, Illinois. I shouldn't be telling you about this place because I find really cool stuff here and I don't want everybody else beating me to the punch. But I don't believe in being greedy like that, plus maybe I'll drive some business their way. Shop local, Dan Dans. Immediately I was greeted by this massive vintage Watto Pepsi ad. Good lord. Captain McKay will pop for this Godzilla. Red Comet will love these Final Fantasy figures, and Gwen will enjoy this Lara Croft. Alright, game time. What are we looking at here? I need something I've never heard of before. Oh shit, there's a whole bin of loose figures. These I don't have, these I do have. What you are seeing is the depths of a Superman addiction. Alright, focus, focus. Games. Yo, how sick is this? Need any AEW figures? Hell, need any WWE figures? Now that's what I call perfect. This says T-1000, but that is absolutely not Robert Patrick. Who the fuck is this? Okay, game time. It looks like we've got a few- Somebody tell me to not buy these NECA Jason figures. Look at this, come on. Alright, alright, I'm done, I'm done. Scanning through, scanning through. What do we have here? Oh, there we go. World Tour. What the fuck is this? Perfect. Look at these clowns. From there, I drove home. I told Panda Bear Karloff all about this video idea, and she was unenthused, to say the least. Now, what the fuck is this going to be? I have to admit, I was intrigued by that cinematic. I opted to dive right into the story mode in an attempt to learn whatever the fuck that was that happened during the intro. I thought it would be cool to look at the playable characters, but the buttons to cycle through costumes and different people don't work. At all. Okay. There are zero options on the scooter menu as well. Cool, thanks for that. Thanks for letting me look through when I have zero options. You know, a better game will at least show you that there is locked content that you have to earn and tell you how to earn it. Never mind, moving forward. Immediately, it became clear what World Tour really is. It's a Tony Hawk knockoff. From top to bottom, from the ground up, 
This is 100% a Tony Hawk clone. From the list of goals to the guidelines in place to unlock new levels, hell, even the controls are the same. Square and circle are different air tricks, triangle grinds. The balance meter is the same. Manuals, or wheelies or whatever, are launched by tapping up-down or down-up. This is insane. You might ask, do the controls feel good? The answer to that question is no. The balance meter is way more forgiving than the Tony Hawk games, which makes you feel like you're pretty good at this immediately. But give it a couple minutes and oh my god, the camera is my asshole. In the Tony Hawk games, when there's a target for you to hit, like a school bell or a floating emblem or whatever, time stops when you touch it. The game wants to play out a small cutscene, right? In World Tour, time doesn't stop. You're still moving. Your trick is still running. How the fuck is anyone supposed to keep track of this? You would think lining up the direction you want to go would be easy. Again, it is in Tony Hawk. Look at me struggling to hit the Frankenstein monster here. Oh yeah, there are bosses on the stages that we have to take out. There's the hunchback, the crazy cookie girl, and the... Excuse me? Holy shit, I don't think you're supposed to say that. Anyway, you might be noticing that we've seen multiple levels now. Three entire levels, as a matter of fact. The castle, the theme park, and now, suburbia. Three levels, all completely separate locales. It's now fair to wonder when I'm going to update you on the story and what was going on in that opening cinematic with the band getting pulled into those portals. I can't give you an update because the game has not updated me. I still, over an hour's worth of gameplay into the story mode, I have no fucking idea what's going on. I don't even know my own character's name. You would think there would be a short cutscene between levels, right? Even a 5 to 10 second, like, oh, maybe they got zapped to the theme park. Maybe I can find them there. No. Nothing. And you might say, oh, Tony Hawk doesn't give you a reason why you go from the warehouse to the school. And no, it doesn't. But Tony Hawk doesn't kick off with Bob Burnquist getting zapped into a fucking black hole. There's a chance that maybe after the fourth level, there's a check-in on the story. Maybe we'd learn who this girl is, or who this is, or what the portals are, or why every level has a secret transmitter that we have to destroy. Maybe, but I'll never know. Why? Because this game made me sick. So fucking sick, I couldn't even believe it. I was sitting there, controller in hand, and I felt nauseous, but I figured it was nothing, so I pressed on, and then I began to feel worse and worse, to the point that I honestly thought I might throw up, and that's when I realized, it's the fucking game. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Maybe it's the speed? Maybe it's that when I try to go in one direction, the camera decides to go in another. Sometimes I can't make sense of where it thinks I am at all. And other times the camera completely loses track of me. I have only ever experienced motion sickness once in my entire life, and it was from playing Doom 2016. Something about that game and, I guess, World Tour, my system just cannot handle it. I unlocked the fourth level, but I refuse to play it. It wouldn't be a 616 Entertainment video without looking into the background of this title at least a little bit. So. I did a tiny bit of research. Like I said, I had legitimately never heard of this game in my life before picking it up off that shelf. I learned that Papaya Studio, the game's developer, was founded in 2000. Outside of World Tour, all of their work was based on a license. They developed the Coraline video game on PlayStation 2, a set of Ben 10 games, Toy Story Mania, so on and so forth. The company was closed down, liquidated in 2013. Rest in peace. What are my takeaways? Well, I guess I'll never know why our main character, who is apparently named Wasabi, 
Looks like Yusuke Yurameshi wearing the clothes of Axel from Streets of Rage. I'll never know who this band is, or what happened to them. Do I care? No. The camera is my balls. Or my asshole, I don't know, whatever I said earlier. Look, the game makes me sick. I hate it. I'll be honest, for the first few seconds of gameplay, I genuinely thought, wow, this is kind of cool. But it isn't. Do I regret spending $8 on this game? Nah, I got this video out of it. Sure, I almost threw up, but whatever. Hopefully it made you guys laugh, and hopefully this video draws more than $8 in revenue. Then it's a total wash. But I'm not gonna hold my breath. Avoid World Tour. Don't do this to yourself. Next week, the Spider-Man PS2 Trilogy Retrospective is coming your way. And after that, it's the history of Friday the 13th Part 4, releasing on Friday the 13th. No spoilers after that, though. You gotta stay tuned. Over on Patreon, Let's Play Friday airs every week, with the new seasons of Monday Night Blitz and GM Showdown coming soon. Sign up now and gain access to everything. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can do something like this again. This was really off the cuff. But thanks for watching. I love you. Until next time, I'll see you soon. I just built this shelf like a week ago. Isn't that... It's fucking sick, right?